Hello everyone, this is DB0 and with me again is Sam. Um, Hello. We're going to be casting the second match between Sammy Bolivo and Selverin. Um, the first match was won by Selverin, if I remember correctly, who defeated uh, yes. Sammy Bolivo's Zinteki uh, 10 to 4. Um, so we're hoping to see an exciting game from both of them this as well. Wow, and the starting hand with two snares and uh, hedge fund. Something tells me he may keep this hand. Uh, that was his mulligan, actually. Selvin's mulligan. Ah, right, right. Think? Right, right. Think so. Yeah, Selvin's mulligan. Oh. Obviously he's going to leave the HQ open. But I'm surprised he's not actually playing that hedge fund. I would... Why would you play that now? That's nasty. It's uh, it can be very good or very bad. If the runner runs twice and hits those nerves, he's dead. <laughs> and there we go. That was very lucky there from uh So let's see how brave uh Samuel, what did he lose? Oh. Lost an infiltration, um a toolbox and a ninja. That's not what you want to see. Mm. I think he's going to take it slowly now. It's funny that the HP is actually playing <laughs> with more damage than the uh, Jinteki was. Okay, finally some good dice. So it's probably going to go uh, Tollbooth, Credit, and Melange. Or maybe even Agenda. But I would probably go for the Lance. Oh, he's going to go for the agenda. Fair enough. I have a friend who plays Kate, um, and he would run on that for sure. No, no questions asked. Yeah, I don't he think is insane. <laughs> it's actually a good idea to face check guys. Of course, uh, if the opponent is running katanas, it hurts you just as much as it hurts him. Uh, but I guess the HP, it usually pays to run the first click, just to check. It's usually not that harmful. But in this case, it's going to keep put him down to, to zero credits. So it's going to delay him quite a while. Being a, a runner and with zero credit, or it's not going to get him to zero credits, but he won't go, not going to be able to break through. He's just preparing for an enigma. He's thinking, okay, maybe if it's an enigma, I can break through. Unfortunately, two credits is going to be very annoying for that all booth because it's not going to do anything. It's just going to end the run. Now the runner is over. Quite a smart play there, by. No, he, I don't think he was expecting a Tollbooth, he was expecting something. He was expecting an Enigma. Yeah, he was hoping for an Enigma, not so much expecting, yeah. I think. He was taking a bet saying, okay, if it's an Enigma, I win. If it's not, no harm done. Probably the second best one I could have hoped for there, because he's always got his uh, Audion Blade into play and the Corp has no money. Yeah. Uh, problem is, uh, he can score that agenda immediately. Problem for mm. the Corp is, the runner no. can start running HQ without any particular fears. Because uh, the corporation doesn't have enough money for the snare. I do think it was a bit of a rush to go for that uh, toll booth there. I would probably have done uh, the melange. Now the corporation will almost certainly have to uh, use the ability of that uh, ABT. And yeah, that can actually be very harmful if he throws agendas. So he's probably going to try something good now. 
it's uh, the corporation it's not made out, I think. Yeah, it's quite sensitive and he can actually because uh, and there goes the snow harmless this time all right so that actually hurt for the corporation so he's going to go for the desperation move I think If he's lucky, he can completely change the game now. Let's see. He's probably going to be lucky, given the amount of ice we've seen. Ouch! Oh! It's nice. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But only one. So he trusts two. Let's see what they are. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Agendas? Oh, shit! Two? Five points! Five yeah, points yeah. now, guys. First click, you run. That's it, that's the game, isn't it? No, nope, he gets nope. to five points. And... Five, yeah, he gets to five points, but he still has a win. If he loses, he loses. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, shit. That was such bad luck. I mean, I'm, I'm curious why the corp didn't... Um... Put the ice on the archives. He was bluffing. Yeah. He was bluffing. He was saying, if I cover the archives, this he knows it's something. If I don't cover, if he takes one brain <sighs> damage and he gets his agendas anyway. If I, uh, oh, it may be game end right now. If I don't uh, put in archives, he may ignore them. But uh, there was no I've chance that. Oh. That's game. Oh my god. I think I've never seen a runner not run on archives if it's not been protected after an accelerated beta test. Never seen it. So I, I, I still don't understand corpse who, who wouldn't protect it if they could. On one hand, I'm happy, that, else. I'm happy that Jinteki moved to the next round, but uh, unfortunately this game was ended too uh, unfairly. Hmm. Pity. Oh well, uh, it happens. That's the that's the game sometimes. When the game is against you, you can't really do much. But uh, you know, you don't have to take the risk. You don't have to take the risk of accelerating the beta test. But then again, the corporation was kind of in a bad situation. I think it was a bad move that Tolbooth, to tell you the truth. Uh, Tolbooth with that agenda, he should have been the Melanch because the Melanch would have been able to raise his... Uh, as uh, he's itchy, and then sli slowly take back uh, the economic advantage. Well, no, I, I agree. Um, it, but it, no, I think I think um, you can see why they've got both come this far because there were some smart plays mm. all round. Mm. Um, I think the biggest mistake was was not putting that Janus on archives. I would have done that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think it would have actually made a difference in the end of the game, yeah? It, Kate would have been with uh, uh, one more damage, one brain damage, and maybe next turn he would have hit that agenda. But of course, next turn, uh, the runner would have been able to put that agenda in his, arc in his uh, toll booth. So, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe actually putting that uh, Janus in his uh, archives would have saved him the game. Because I think the runner probably would, would, um, would wait to... break that because if it's not enough points to win and you take a brain damage as shape that slows you down significantly it does it does but yeah i think it was a bad play in the other end you know you just know he's not going to just let two cards in archives sit um it's because it, one way to think about it is is instead of if a card gets ditched from r d to archives uh, and archives is a free run all you've done is replace all the runners r d run with an archives run instead, because mm. they get to see the cards that they would you would have had. So the problem is, I think that if he put that card in archives, the runner would have probably just ignored it and started running elsewhere. Would have an HQ, would have run whatever. And as soon as the corporation was making any headway, 
towards a fork. Then then make the run on archives. Exactly, just to yeah. to, to, to make sure that he won't lose suddenly. But if the run if the corp had scored a three point agenda in that time period, the corp would won um, overall. Exactly. No? Yeah. Oh, it, it would, it would yeah. have been a tiebreaker if he had actually scored another agenda by then. It would have been a tiebreaker. So he had mm. an opportunity. I think if he actually play, uh, aced, uh, you have you right that he actually aced at archives. The, either the runner would have delayed enough through the Janus, or he would have ignored the run, Janus and run somewhere else. Um, of course, he may have hit the agenda in his hand again. But uh, it would still maybe either give the, the corporation a chance to ice up archives even more, or mm. maybe snag another agenda and get to the tiebreaker at least. Yeah, I think it was a mistake. Uh, it was a bad bluff. You don't, uh, you don't bluff. Um, you, you can't bluff five points. It's too you, much. No, 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 not so much. I mean, you can you can bluff that your archive is empty if you already have an ice, and you say, okay, I've already played my ice there. So if you want to run and see nothing, yeah, I don't care. But if you have unprotected archives, the runner is just going to check them anyway. It doesn't cost him anything. All right. Well, thanks you very much for uh, joining me, uh, Thumb. It uh, turned out to be a much, much faster game than expected.